गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सविता तिदमे एंड वी आर स्टडिंग द सब्जेक्ट एनिमल इकोलॉजी एंड इन द प्रेजेंट लेक्चर विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज एनिमल इंटरेक्शन इन प्रीवियस फ्यू लेक्चर्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द प्रीवियस फोर चैप्टर्स ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एनिमल इकोलॉजी एंड under which you have already studied many things just like introduction to ecology in that concept of ecology population environment community ecosystem biosphere etc that you studied in chapter 1 in chapter 2 that is ecosystem you already studied types of ecosystem different types of ecosystem aquatic marine terrestrial ecosystem even structure and composition of ecosystem you already studied as well as the food chain different types of food chain you already started in chapter number 2 and in the chapter 3 that is population we have studied the characteristics of population like density natality mortality in detail as well as dispersal and dispersion also even exponential and logistic type of a growth we already studied population regulation density dependent and density independent we already studied even population interaction even gauss principle with the laboratory and field interactions we have already studied in our previous few lectures now in the present lecture we'll be focusing on animal interaction everybody knows that number of different types of animals they are living together living on this planet earth like this see this picture different types of animals may be terrestrial arboreal right aquatic all of them living together right and they are showing some kind of interaction with each other maybe the interaction is for food maybe the interaction is for shelter or many uh, or anything else right so this kind of a interaction is also called as animal association but my dear students some animals are there which live independently in their natural habitat and seeking their own food material as well as utilizing free water and oxygen for their metabolic processes so a niche that is an habitat or locality where they are surviving includes the physical space in which they live and how they use the resources present in that space as well as how they interact with one another they interact with each other is uh, um, studied in the animal interaction as well as in the in their behavior so the interaction among the different organism within or between the overlapping niches are called as animal interactions what is that the interaction among the organism within or between overlapping niches niches is what their habitat okay in simple language we can say niches is said to be the habitat where they live where they interact with one another and within uh, or between the overlapping niches means between the adjacent niches suppose a particular terrestrial habitat is there okay a particular space particular land is there in which elephants are still surviving in that particular land the tigers are there sheep are there rabbits are there right goats are there means all these animals are there even if there is a small water uh, reservoir or water pond then aquatic animals are also there then the arboreal animals are also there means what these are those are living on the trees that is birds is having a different niche means a different habitat those are living on the ground having a different habitat those are living in the water having a different habitat right and in uh, animal interaction what is that the habitat overlapping habitat or you can say the adjacent habitat like arboreal terrestrial aquatic right so the animals they still interact with one another the animals they show some kind of a interaction with one another for the food or maybe for the shelter for the niches right so such a kind of animal interaction is called as animal association or simply animal interaction so animals interact with each other in a numerous complex ways that we just now studied a resource in 
ecological terms is something such as food they may interact for the food they may interact for the water for the habitat sunlight or prey that is required by an organism to perform a vital function such as a growth or a reproduction right an animal interaction can be interspecific between the same species yes the interaction can be between the same species just like two elephants or between the two rabbits right for the food especially for the food and for the shelter right so the animal interaction can be of the same species that is between the same species or between the different species right between the different species so long term interaction is also known uh, known to be observed amongst the animals and it is some kind of a symbiotic association with uh, which range from mutualism where both the partners are benefited mutualism is what is a kind of a symbiotic association symbiotic association is what in which the no one is at harm maybe one of them is at benefit or maybe both of them are at benefit it's said to be the symbiotic association but the symbiotic association that is long term association exists among these different animals is maybe of the mutualism type that is both the partners are benefited or it may be the competition type which may harmful to both the partners okay now both short term and long term interaction influences the evolution of a species involving in these interaction what it means both the short term and long term interaction those do if the animals they are interacting with one another either for short period of time or either for long period of time that influences the evolution that shows their effect on their evolution evolution of a particular species interacting with one another what it means it means that for the evolution of a particular species the animal interaction plays a key role okay now let's move ahead and see different types of animal interactions so depending on the nature of effect on the interacting individual or a community animal interactions can be divided into different categories like positive interaction negative interaction or neutral interaction so positive interaction is what if the animals they are interacting with one another and no one is at no one is at harm either both of them they are benefited or either any one of them is at benefit so such a kind of interaction is said to be the positive interaction and negative interaction the association in which one of the animal or both the animals they are at ben uh, they are at the harm like competition right so it is said to be the negative interaction and neutral interaction is a kind of interaction in which none of them is at benefit none of them is at harm so it is remain neutral so three types of or three categories of animal interaction we have just started now now let's see different types of animal interaction depending upon the level of interaction that is level of their uh, association and along with the example so the first is a competition first type of association is a competition it comes here in the negative interaction intra specific competition means what intra means what within intra means what within specific species within the same species so let's see the level of interaction in this case okay so individual within the population of the same species interact with one another either for food either for meat either for shelter or either for mate right so what example we can cite the male lions of the same species competing themselves for getting the female for reproduction so that in this case the interaction within the same species that is amongst the lions is for the mate for the female right okay now inter specific competition inter means what between okay inter means what between inter specific between the 
species to different species so individual within the population of a two different species interact with one another for what again for the food either maybe they are sharing some kind of a similar habitat so for the habitat the interaction is there for establishing for proving superiority of the individual the competition is there right so competition between the top carnivores like lion as well as cheetah as well as leopard hyena for getting common prey like a deer so this deer is a common prey for whom for the lion for the cheetah for leopard hyena so <coughs> all of them are depend on this deer for the food they are looking at the deer as a food as a prey so the competition is now inter specific competition means the competition is now exist between the lion and cheetah or maybe the lion and leopard maybe the leopard and hyena maybe the cheetah and hyena for getting the deer right so this is what inter specific competition okay so competition is a kind of animal association can be of a two type intra specific competition and inter specific competition now let's move ahead and see symbiosis so symbiosis as we said earlier symbiosis is what is a kind of animal association in which one of the animal is is benefited or maybe both the animals are benefited right so depending upon that mutualism and commensalism are the types of symbiotic association now commensalism as a kind of animal association takes place between the individuals of a different species what between the individuals of the different species okay so here we have cited the uh, example remora fish that is sucker fish living with the sharks for protection sucker fish living with the shark for protection now here in this case the remora fish is obviously as benefit right obviously it is at benefit sucker fish is at benefit because it gets a protection from shark so ultimately along with that it also get transported from one place to another place when the shark migrate shark moves from one place to another place this remora fish is also get transported so this one is at benefit kind of association is commensalism right now mutualism mutualism between the individuals of the different species obviously and both the individuals are benefited the association in which both the individuals in an association are benefited is said to be mutualism commensalism is a kind of association in which only one individual is benefited another one is neither benefited nor hurt her okay now let's move ahead and see mutualism so honey bees feeding on the flowers ants and fungus grows in the ant nest so honey bees in this case which feeding on the flowers so honey bees what they getting they are getting honey they are means a nectar from the flower they are also getting the what pollen grains from the flowers so honey bees benefited now and flowers the pollen grains from one flower is get transmitted to another flower with the help of honey bees so cross pollination is been facilitated by the honey bees so honey bees are also benefited and this one flowers they are also get benefit right so the association in which both the members are benefited so such a kind of association is said to be the mutualism now another example is quoted here fungus grows in the ant nest fungus they get ready made uh, water floor as well as the shelter for their growth continuous supply they are getting so they are benefited and ants ants as they are growing them culturing them as well as feeding on them so ants are also at benefit so these two members fungus and ants they are equally benefited hence it is again it kind of a mutualism socialism so between the individuals of the same species this kind of association takes place between the individuals of the same species so hymenopteran insects like bees termites and ants they show the social behavior now okay what do you mean by socialism or social behavior see what uh, when we live together when we live at one place so we interact with different people we interact with the kirana stores 
right we interact with the uh, petrol pump means we goes to petrol pump even we also interact with many other people like a laundry person right as well as the house servant so these are what these are this this is nothing but the division of a labor right everybody is performing their work and this is what the social life and my dear students in the honey bees and termites as well as ants such a kind of socialism is there such a such a kind of social life is been observed so honey bees in which one queen is there then kings are there that is drone and workers are there and the workers they are of different kinds of workers like uh, nurse bees are there who used to take care of the colonies as well as feed to the queen as well as young ones even the soldiers are there even soldiers they used to protect the colonies even and the foragers are there which go out and bring some food even the nectar pollen for the colony right so division of labor is been observed such a kind of association is again called as a socialism parasitism obviously one is at benefit and one is at harm so between the consumer from a different tropic levels or between the species of a uh, between the different types of a species parasitism is been observed so parasites like the head louse mosquito bed bug feeding on the human so these parasites like head louse mosquito bed bugs they feeding on the human they used to suck the human blood so they are at benefit even they get the shelter on human body as well as inside the human houses so they get benefit right but the human what get in return human gets pain human gets infection human become sick because of such a parasitic agents right so one member that is head louse maybe mosquito or the bed bug are at benefit the human is always are uh, is at the risk so in this kind of association uh, one is benefited another one is at harm so it's called as a parasitism association is called as parasitism now predation predation in which one prey one predator is there right so the obviously this kind of association is observed between the different species or in another terminology it is also called as between the consumers from different tropic levels what between the consumers from different tropic levels okay now carnivores like lion leopard feeding on the deer so this lion and leopard no doubt we have taken this example for another one but here what concept is prey predation concept is there so this lion and leopard they are bigger one top carnivores they are depend on the herbivore right so they are predator and the one who is been preyed or who is been trapped is said to be the prey so predator and prey interaction relationship this is called as a predation okay let's move ahead and see what is next okay so animal interaction can be called as association which includes different kinds of interaction including those between the individuals of the same species and between the species in the same tropic level and between the different tropic levels such association may be mutually benefited or alternatively benefited right so this what entire sentence means it means the animal association is maybe between the same species between the different species or maybe between the species sharing the same habitat or maybe between the species of uh, sharing a different habitat or some kind of thing like that right so one is at benefit another one is not benefited or maybe both of them are benefited or maybe they are alternately benefited so in short it is called as a animal interaction or animal association so these ecological associations are operated or operates at one of the three level that is individual level it operate first because the interaction first of all takes place between the individual two members 
मे बी सेम स्पेसिस मे बी डिफरेंट स्पेसिस बट इट इज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द इंडिव्यूजुअल लेवल देन वेन द इंटरक्शन टेक्स प्लेस बिटवीन द लार्ज नंबर ऑफ इंडिव्यूजुअल ऑफ दिस टू ग्रुप्स देन इट बिकम्स अ पॉप्युलेशन लेवल राइट एंड वेन द पॉप्युलेशन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पॉप्युलेशन वेन इंटरक्ट विथ वन अनादर देन इट बिकम्स अ community level dear students you know the concept of a individual level population level and community level right because the population concept of the population and community we already studied in previous lecture previous means quite back lecture what is community and what is a population you should know right okay all right let's begin with the concept of competition now competition competition occurs when individual of same or different species having the same ecology or occupying the same feeding and plights depend upon common but limited resources when the organism fight themselves for getting the same resources such a type of interactions are known as a competition right okay even the competition occurs even when uh, there is unlimited supply of the resources here it depend on the superiority of one species over the other species what is that superiority of the one species over the other species all right so what we just studied now competition occurs between the individual of the either same species that is it may take place between the two lions or uh, yes between the lions or between the different species means between the lions and leopard or leopard and cheetah or cheetah and tiger right having the same ecology because they are sharing the same locality so where they are going to interact with one another for the prey for the food for the shelter so they fight with one another so there is a competition kind of a competition exist between the inter uh, species yes so occupying the same feeding sites depend upon the common but limited resources because they are sharing some kind of a common resources like deer we said that the lion leopard uh, cheetah hyena they are depend or their common food is what deer so they all are looking at the deer as a food right so for getting that food there is a specific kind of a competition exist between them and when the organism fight themselves for getting the same resource such a type of interactions are known as a competition okay but the competition is also exist uh, though there is a unlimited source of food for what for superiority of one species over the other this is very important because if the competition is there, no doubt if ample amount of food is available everything is available in a huge quantity but i said everything shelter is available food is available everything is there then why should they compete with one another they should not compete no but here still the species or individual they compete with one another for what for establishing for proving the superiority of one of the species over other right so they fight with one another and after that what happened the one who is a stronger one who is a superior will win and the another one who is a weaker will again uh lose the locality the one who is going to win the competition right win the fight will going to reside into that particular locality as in superior species and another one who is lose uh, who is weak will going to lose the habitat will have to shift from that habitat and so ultimately the one who is a superior will going to accompany that entire habitat so though the unlimited resources and uh, shelter is there still these species these individuals they interact with one another for proving the superiority of one of the species over other and the competition can occurs in individual of the same species that is intra specific or between the individuals of the different species that is inter specific competition right so the intra specific 
that is homogametic competition intermes within the species so within a species means what having the similar genome so called as a homogametic competition inter specific between the two different species so two different species having different genome right so called as a heterogametic competition okay so dear students in the present lecture what we have studied we have studied the concept of animal association right even we have studied the concept of animal interaction that is association and different types of animal association like competition symbiosis mutualism socialism parasitism etc even the concept of animal association at individual level population level as well as community level and a brief introduction to competition right in next lecture we'll be studying the intra specific or homogametic competition and heterogametic competition